On the blank page, an architect sketches a masterpiece, resulting in a window to their creative mind. Well known for the Spanish colonial revival movement, George Washington Smith and Luda Maria Riggs designed two of the South Coast's most elegantly crafted homes in Montecito. Today, thanks to the generosity of the Leaf family, the Casa del Herrero Foundation, and many supporters, these works of art, their enchanting gardens, and unique design will be respectfully protected for generations to come. The Architects of Change event provides a rare opportunity for the community to catch a glimpse of Santa Barbara's history. After studying painting at Pennsylvania's Academy of Fine Arts and architecture at Harvard University, George Washington Smith discovered Santa Barbara and decided to make it his home. George Washington Smith builds his own house here in Montecito, and people are absolutely excited about this. And what he learns is they're really not interested in his paintings, they're interested in his ability to be an architect. 1918, he starts to have his practice, and he comes into prominence very, very quickly. There is no question that Smith was a brilliant architect, but many overlook the numerous contributions his draftswoman, Luda Maria Riggs, made to his signature style. Many times we don't see her. These are George Washington Smith homes, but I do believe that George Washington Smith understood how important Luda was to his practice. What she is, in many ways, is that invisible fingerprint. She was an unusual woman who worked with George Washington Smith a dark character. She literally, she wore dark. And yet she created these illuminating spaces that are just magnificent. The more that I've discovered of Luda, the more wonderful. Great attention to detail was paid by Smith and Riggs to not only showcase and incorporate Santa Barbara's beautiful landscape into their designs, but to also highlight our city's rich Spanish history. Most of the house functions as this wonderful U-shaped so that you emphasize the courtyard as well as access to all of the wonderful views that you have from the garden. The example of how the gardens interplay with the rooms and how the inside goes to the outside in sort of a fluid state is really evident in both homes. What's so unusual about and unique about this house is that through every window you capture a wonderful slice of the outdoors. You capture a different perspective each and every time as you walk around the house, both in the interior as well as the exterior. It is the beau art style which speaks to people of great wealth wanting very elaborate gardens that were symmetrical including fountains, alleys of trees leading to a viewpoint at the end of the garden. What George Washington Smith has done is he's taken the topography and actually something that was already here. This square pool was a reservoir. Reservoirs were important because of the lack of water here in Montecito. He's created this wonderful intimate courtyard that all these doors can open out into and utilize something that was already part of the land. National landmarks such as the Santa Barbara Courthouse, Mission, and Casa del Herrero need their community's support in order to remain open to the public. The Architects of Change event celebrates the masterworks of George Washington Smith and Luda Maria Riggs, but it is also an opportunity to make an impactful contribution. I really feel strongly that unless you preserve those pieces of architectural mastery, then then the next hundred years is not going to remember what did that mean in terms of how, where we came from. It's very important so that people can understand the history of our community and the history of architecture within our community and within, within our country. What we have is an opportunity for us to be able to understand the architect even better. What we have is an opportunity to go back through time and understand the historical nature of the construction of Montecito, of Santa Barbara. That'll be a great celebration of both homes, both architecture, and it'll be a wonderful fundraiser for this place, which does take quite a bit of financing to keep up. It's an honor to be any part of any of this telling of the tale of, of two 
great architects, to people who loved what they did. It is imperative that Santa Barbara's citizens keep its architectural evolution preserved for future generations so that they may share in its great story. The Architects of Change event is one way you too can get involved.